chair at Laney College in Oakland, has won a prestigious award through the Society of Professional Journalists in Northern California. Eleni Economides Gastis has won the Beverly Keys Educator Award for her remarkable commitment to her students and the college newspaper, The Citizen. She is with us now, along with Shiloh Johnston, who is the editor-in-chief of The Citizen, and Ken Luster, managing editor. Thank you all for being here. Congratulations to you, Eleni. Good morning, Garcia. Yeah, thanks you for having us. You really took hold of this journalism department at Laney, and it just a, a few short years really made it into something different. Tell me what that process has been like for you. Um, it's really been a, a, an intense revitalization process where we've really just tried to mirror industry to provide opportunities for students to meet them where they are in terms of their skill sets and ensure that they have opportunities in, you know, media, local media, hyper local media, if you will. Very local. I mean, you know, Shiloh, if I can turn to you, you really focus on what's happening in your college district. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're beat reporters and we are the only publication that constantly covers our school district and we not only cover events but we also cover our board of trustees meetings we look at our finances we look at uh, you know general elections so yeah we definitely are hyper focused on what happens at all of our campuses and our district and ken as managing managing editor it's probably fair to use the term watchdog for the work that you and your team do yeah definitely like like shiloh said we're really the only ones that are covering this on a daily basis and we we do dig very deep we're doing a lot of public records requests um, you know things that real journalists do because we're doing the work of real journalists yeah. um, and, and like I said yeah we're covering it every day it, so, it, it, it's not the kind of journalism like they don't make movies about this kind of work right we like the big splashy stories the big gotcha moments the incredible video you know how do you Eleni prepare your students for what they're doing at school but also to take that into the professional world I think the skills are totally transferable um, to lots of different areas I've had students who have started law school have gone into tech have done communications work you know research analysis clear concise communication and being able to kind of uh, uh, compartmentalize facts I think is a very useful skill so um, in terms of our district most people wouldn't know uh, that we have a operating budget in the hundreds of millions of dollars so there's actually you know a lot to pay attention to and the students do a be beautiful job there should be a microscope yeah. on, on that sort of organization um, Shiloh when you think about the work that you have put in what do you what do you think has resonated most with your readers which are largely Laney students and, and faculty but also you're online I mean I, I I can read you anytime I want I did this morning but what do you hope to put out into the wider community well I mean we do serve or we play a critical role for our community so I think I mean I was thinking about this this morning maybe like the story that I'm most proud of at least when I as I've served in my tenure as editor-in-chief is uh, last semester we threw a candidate forum for uh, our board of trustees that were running for election uh, and we wrote an editorial afterwards for our endorsements and we ended up getting 26,000 views which is kind of unprecedented yeah. uh, for a community college newspaper and so yeah I think something like that for for people in our community to uh, to be informed and elect based off something like that the work you do matters yeah the work it matters all right Ken let's sort of look ahead into the professional world did I hear you say you want to go into sports that's me <laughs> okay <laughs> good luck to you let me tell you because you know the things out you know so, sort of in, in the wide world of journalism oftentimes things are not seen as absolutely critical can be downsized a little bit or maybe trimmed here and there um, what if anything do you hope to take from your experience at Laney into the sports world as a journalist well I think that Eleni has taught us how to dig and I think that you know sure. really good sports stories don't have to be just superficial and stats and just what happened but there's a lot of really good stories that can be told in the sports world that are important that I think I'm now better equipped to to investigate and tell now that I've, you know, seen the more serious side of reporting. I mean, that doggedness that, that Ken just talked about, Eleni, can go so far if you're at the city council meeting, at the school board meeting. I've spent countless, you know, nights as, as a general assignment reporter in this city and many others. And it, it's the reporter who sticks with the story who gets what really matters to the community. Absolutely. And it's not always glamorous and it's right. not always convenient. Right. And, you know, we've had, uh, we've been through a lot in our newsroom. Yeah. Um, and I think the one thing that most folks don't know is that uh, student media is run by the students. It is actually the law. So although 
lot of folks would like to believe that I'm kind of the, the shadow person <laughs> behind the whole operation. I teach them the skills. I facilitate, you know, kind of newsroom management, thinking about, you know, uh, how they're going to cover their stories, helping them to strategize, teaching them public records requests, teaching them interview skills, the, that kind of a thing. Those foundational skills. I remember yes. I was sitting in a journalism law class a million years ago, and uh, I was like, will I ever use this? The answer is yes. Yes. Yes, you will. And if I can make a quick pitch here, and Shiloh will, uh, Shiloh will turn to you for this last moment we have. Junior college in particular can be so vital to many people who maybe don't want to go to a four-year university, can't afford to do I went to my junior college, Las Positas in Livermore, and number one, it helped me cut my college bill in half. Number two, it gave me the freedom to take all those classes that we all take without sitting in a big room of 400 other students with a professor I don't get to know. Would you like to make a pitch for Laney College or Community College in general to those who might be considering it? Yeah, absolutely. I did not know what I wanted to do when I started community college. I uh, dropped out the first time right out of high school because I didn't want to, I didn't know what I want to do the mm -hmm. first time through college. And I'm 28 now. I started community college when I was 26 and I talked to counselors. They told me to try this journalism program and I did not know what I was getting into when I started and I'm so glad that I found Eleni and the Citizen. So yeah, go to community college, go to Laney. The counselors there can really point you in the right direction and you can really find, uh, really find your career forward. So. You said it best. Well, Shiloh Johnston, Eleni Economides Gastis and also Ken Lester, congratulations and thank you all three for joining us. Thank you so much, Gracia. Absolutely. Can